So the internal oilation and the external oilation are exactly that. Internal oilation is the ghee that you drink in the morning. Ghee is clarified butter. Uh, basically the milk solids, it's cooked really low and slow. Butter is cooked really low and slow and the milk solids are scraped off the top and all that's left is the raw fat. If you don't like the taste, if you can't stand the texture, you know, if you're vegan, you can do coconut oil. That's another option is to have coconut oil in the morning. Another option is to have, um, to mix your ghee with uh, cocoa powder. You can do that in the morning. And so that gives you the same internal oilation, uh, but a little more flavor, maybe a little easier to palate. You could also do coconut oil and um, cocoa, pow cocoa powder or cacao powder. Just make sure that it's, um, unprocessed co cocoa powder. You're not doing like Nestle quick with, you know, a bunch of sugar in it. We're trying to go au natural here. Uh, the external oilation, same concept of making sure that it's something natural. So they recommend sesame oil because that's a nice neutral oil that's usually pretty easy on most people. If there's another oil you know you'd like to use, coconut oil is another popular one. If you want to do coconut oil for your like rub down after the baths, um, that's an option. Just try to avoid, you know, chemical based lotions. This is, you know, once we're doing all this nice internal cleansing and we're, we're getting rid of um, kind of chemical based foods and chemical based products, we want to also be kind to our skin and use something that's really natural. And sesame oil is usually pretty affordable. It's not a real expensive oil to find. Um, it's a little bit, it's, it's neutral. It's easy for most people. Okay, so then we have the herbs and the teas. Detox tea is a mix of these different ingredients. Um, scroll down below. I did offer, I'm offering to give you guys a one week supply of the herbs and teas. If it's easier, if you don't want to do all the shopping yourself and you'd rather just buy it from me and then I'll send you a little pack that's got enough for you to do the cleanse for one week. Um, the digest or the detox tea is pretty um, neutral. It has, it kind of takes, tastes mostly like the fennel. The fennel tends to be the strongest flavor. So if you don't love fennel, maybe leave that out of your recipe. Um, fennel is a good digestive aid. And so that's why it's in there. Um, the, I do the liver as a tea, the liver detox as a tea. You can find it in grocery stores, um, traditional medicinals, Yogi tea, there are several different brands that make a liver detox tea. You can also find liver detox as a supplement. You can also find it in a tincture form if you go to like the wellness section of a co-op or of Whole Foods. Um, go with what is easiest for you to find. Know that the effect of the liver detox is often about, um, if you, if you, have a lot of alcohol in your diet, this might be challenging for you. You might get headaches, you might get agitated, you might get angry. Or if you're a person who's easily agitated and tends to kind of have a trigger response of getting angry about things, um, then this, then the liver cleanse might be something that's challenging for you. And so knowing that, you know, if you, dr if you drink it as tea once a day, that's really gentle. If you decide that you're going to do it, you know, multiple times a day, it'll have a stronger effect, obviously. Um, at that point, the tincture might be an easier um, way to palate it because it's said to be a little uh, cleaner in terms of the way that it gets absorbed into our system. So Trichotu is a very strong, potent uh, digestive herb. If you have a real like digestion of steel, Trichotu will be great for getting it moving. If you have really sensitive digestion, you might want to temper your use of the trigger too. It's stronger than ginger. I have sensitive digestion, and so I tend to just take the trigger too once a day in the afternoon with whatever afternoon meal I have because that's when I'm the highest energy and it tends to not upset my stomach as much. If I take it in the morning and the night, it's, it usually upsets my stomach. Um, let's see. Trifala is a very neutral herb. Uh, it's nourishing. I haven't really heard of anyone having trouble with trifala. It's a really common herb for anyone who is going to kind of step into this land of Ayurveda. It's one of the first things that usually gets prescribed. Um, so I don't think you'll have to worry about that one at all.